When we talk about a futsal defensive system, we are talking about the ways a team behaves when defending or how and where to defend. In this video, we will specifically talk about where to defend. That is, the defensive lines of the defensive futsal system. If you'd like to know more about the how to defend or the types of marking futsal, there is a link in the description and also you can click on the bar up here. Let's check it out. The defensive lines of futsal are associated with the idea of space, as if there were imaginary lines on the court, where athletes are positioned to organize the defense. The higher the defensive line, the less space left for the opponent to play. However, the higher it is the line, the more vulnerable your defensive system will be. These imaginary lines are marked from attack all the way to defense. The total number of lines will change according to where you are from and or your beliefs. I'm from Brazil and I was taught that there were five lines in total, one being the highest on the field. This video explanation will be based on that, but the concept is generally the same for everything. The first line of defense or line one is on the opponent's defensive court next to the PK spot, the so-called pressure marking. This line is set that high leaving no or little space for the opponent to play. This type of marking can be used at the end of a game in which a team is losing and wants to turn over the score. It is a very dangerous tactic as it involves a great risk to the defensive system. The second defensive line or line two is the half pressure marking. In this defensive setup, the goalkeeper has a little more space to release the ball into play. However, as soon as the ball is dominated by an opposing player, the team pushes forward its line, increasing the pressure in the marking zone. The third defensive line, or line three, is the half-court defense. Because in this defensive position, the team positions itself in the middle of the court, leaving opponents unmarked in their defensive court. However, when the opponent enters the attacking court, they suffer strong defensive pressure. The purpose of this defensive positioning is to prevent the infiltration of players and balls in the back or through balls behind, as it decreases the space in the middle of the court, offering good counter-attacking opportunities. The fourth defensive line, or line four, is a type of lower defensive positioning, set close to the 10-meter direct kick spot on the defensive half. In this system, the team waits in a compact way within its own half and from that point and beyond, defenders will start fighting for the ball. Opponents will have a lot of space to keep the ball, however, they will not have enough space for infiltrations or gives and goes. The purpose of this defensive positioning is also for counter-attack situations. The last defensive line or line 5 is a very low defensive position set practically on the penalty mark on the defensive half. This is the so-called park the bus. The team stays very compact within their half, blocking shooting opportunities and applying pressure to steal the ball and go on to counter-attack situations. This method is applied in a game either when the opposing team has a much higher level than the other team, when the team is winning and cannot concede any goals on the last minutes of the match, or when the opposing team is using a goalie fifth attacker, which is when the respect goalie at the time on the opposing team will step onto the offensive half to create numerical advantage and try to score. So those were the five defensive lines of futsal. But just for your information, this concept is very complex and requires a lot of knowledge from the players to understand the different situations in the game. They are commonly used in higher ages, not so much in youth matches. If this video was helpful and gave you some important insight, please give us a like below and comment if you have any questions or if you disagree with what we said or if you have a different view. Also consider subscribing to the channel to see more futsal related videos like this and I'll catch you soon in the next video.